Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of the ESP32 IoT monitoring. And in this session, I would like to focus only on threshold and color coding. Uh, we had a discussion that how you can fetch this data, but specifically for the threshold, uh, we didn't discuss in in this session, we will talk about this specific part. So first, let have uh, let take a look on this threshold, how it will work. Then we will jump to the coding part. Oh, so we have here the, the temperature twenty six point three. Let me change this temperature to twenty six and save it and then you can see now the temperature already the color changed let me change the humidity as well humidity i'm making as a 59 and it should here you go the color now making green it's converted to green so it's uh the threshold which you can uh, make it in UI and then it will reflect into data. So let's jump to the coding part to see what kind of the change you would need compared than previous code. Um, I'm not going to explain all this part of the code. It's already available in my previous videos. Uh, you can please check it, check it out. If you didn't watch those videos, please watch those videos and also you can find the uh, uh, the, the the link of the, the data source as well. So what you would need to change here is uh, to add some more. We can say the library related to the JSON and also for the OS. This is the first step which you need to do, and then uh, you would need to define the threshold file as a JSON file. Uh, this is the method which now I'm using. It's, it will send the information into JSON file and also you can read or you can write. But if you are the fan of the database, also it is possible to drop this information in DB and read or write from database. This is another solution for your actually, uh, attention if you want to do such this kind of the process so you you would have the one uh, threshold json which is also in your root directory exactly where you drop the file your uh, of your backend and then uh, you would need to define the function as a uh, load threshold which is uh, reading the those value and you would need also to drop some uh, default value for this json file then you will uh, define the one global as a threshold uh, and then you would need to define the safe threshold which will write the data into this json file because you uh, are going to uh, insert some values onto this we can say that the, this form and it will reflect into safe threshold. Then you would need to define the one uh, endpoint as a threshold, and the method should both get and post. Get for fetching the data as a reading and post for saving. And then you would need to define the one function call the threshold as a global which is already defined at the top side and then request the method as a post if it's a post then it will convert those values uh, to the float because the 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 difference between the form and also the values in the json so you would need to uh, convert it and then save save the threshold which we already defined this uh, function and drop it into threshold and when you have this uh, 
uh, when you already did some this uh, such this kind of the we can say change it will come in as a message which is the threshold updated you'll find it here this threshold updated and the the function of the threshold which at top side already we have defined for this message and so on we will jump to the html part to explain it uh not for all the uh, html part but for a specific part which is necessary only for uh we can say that the threshold others it's just only html and you can go through this uh code part and uh to understand and get some idea of how you can make your own app but again let me just very quickly to explain that this is the style part for the uh for the table when you are changing the color in the table so you have yeah here you have the table and this is the uh, that part of the style is related to the table part and there are more information related to the style of threshold for the form which is here this is the form of the threshold when you are going to define it and then uh yeah for the threshold form and here i think let me get it down scroll down we have yeah here we have the load threshold uh, for the load threshold uh, we have the function to read the data from threshold and then uh, this reading the data will check it and compare it yeah so it's it's important for uh, comparison um, and make it as a color code so that 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 that's the only the case as is important so it will fetch this threshold with the get method you can mention as a get method if you do not mention the get method with this function of the fetch it already is a get actually then it will uh, get the data as a json format and this data will uh, come as a uh, temperature high and this is the value for data temperature as a high and in case you want to save this value which is already dropped this value so you will get uh, into threshold form which we already in top side we, we discussed and then use the the event listener for the submission when you are uh, or inserting the values then then it's used the, the submission to submit the values and use this method to send the, the values to the server and again the first threshold method is a post and the body is exactly whatever is getting from the form data and then we'll send this information as a JSON and here we have the the threshold status this threshold status uh let me here uh you have the the configured uh, threshold it in top side we just discuss about the style right here only we have the style part you see here we have the style part but here is this part this part is creating this page for the configure threshold temperature high low and so on so this is the configure threshold and there is the the threshold form this is the id of the threshold form and is using as an input for the the type is number and the name and so on there after that all these uh, this has a label one two three four and there is a one button one 
one, two, three, four, and there is a bond button. And here there is the threshold update. And if you look at here, this is here. This is threshold status, which exactly I have explained here. It's coming here and it's using inner text with a data dot message. What's this message? This message we already discussed here. It dropped the threshold update in case everything was fine and it's saved. It will drop this message over there. And then it will come as an update data. So update data, it will come to if scroll up. Let me drop it here to find it. Yeah, here the function of the update data. This is the responsibility. Uh, this part is responsible for comparison between the value which is already in the threshold then value of the data and in case uh, it can meet this requirement uh, it will change the color based on definition so here let me here you see the for example if data temperature is greater than this threshold temperature high then they will use this temperature color and in case is Sm uh, smaller than that value then uh, it will drop this value uh, or in it will change the color in this format so yeah there's also uh, the same same way it will apply for humidity as well so you will find this humidity threshold for the high and also for the low and the colors yeah, I think uh, all these parts already covered related to the, uh, let's say, for the threshold. Uh, the next step, it could be when we are getting some values in, uh, we can say that when you, when we, uh, drop some value as a search hole here and then also when we get that value it can send notification uh, via email to the defined user which will be in the next uh, session of the, this tutorial regarding this uh, search hole so if you like this video please don't forget to like button share and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe and help me to grow my channel and uh, please stay tuned for upcoming videos regarding this this part related to notification and if you have any specific topic which you think that is uh, uh, it's interesting for you please let me know in comment below definitely I will uh, take it to account and prepare some tutorial regarding that point for you thank you again and see you in the next one